Do you utilize Dropform workflows and want to integrate it with Slack? Well, let me show you how. Hey, Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you already utilize Jotform workflows and want to receive a message in Slack, either to yourself, an individual person, a private or a public channel, you can absolutely do that now. So let me show you how. I'm gonna go ahead and use this top form schedule a meeting. Let's edit the form so we can see what it looks like. It's very basic, name, email, and then we have an appointment schedule. So I'm gonna head up to that middle tab settings. Then over on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose workflows. I'm gonna create a new workflow. Now with this, we can see that it's basically starting us from scratch and we can build this however we see fit. Now, if you would prefer to not have to build this yourself, you can always utilize a template and you can edit the starting point to your form. But over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the approval process right here. We can click on the settings. You can see that we have approve, deny, or we can add in a new outcome. We can manually type in approvers here if we'd like, or if within the form, the user who is submitting adds in someone's email address who can be an approver, maybe a manager's email, we can pull from our form fields here. Then we have our completion roles. We can require the response from the majority, from all, from one person, or from a specific amount of people. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose just from one person. And if you want, you can also edit that notification email. So next we can go ahead and pull in our approval and denial emails. Let's go ahead and do email here and email here and we'll pull down both. We'll say this one is approve and this one is deny. Now we're gonna want to edit both. So we have denial and we have approval. Now from here, this is only editing what it looks like for us. We need to edit the actual email that our users are going to see. Now, as of right now, we can see that it looks just like our normal you know, notification email. So we need to edit what that looks like for them. So here we're gonna say, your request has been approved. And then down here, we can add in more details. You've been approved. And we also wanna verify that the recipients is coming from the form, that email. We'll do save. And then same thing over here with the denial, you'll want to edit this piece as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull an end down here and we can finalize that denial. So once they've been denied, the process is going to end for them, but we can also pull in our integration for Slack. I'm gonna go ahead and choose Slack. Now here's what we can choose, send a message to a public channel, a private channel, or send a chat message. For this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose to send a chat message, but to have it integrated properly, you'll wanna choose which one of these you want from here. So we'll do a chat message. We'll bring this right up here and we can bring the end down. So once it has been approved, we want to send a chat message. So let's go ahead and complete those settings. If you haven't integrated your Slack account, you'll do that here. We can see mine has been authenticated already. So we can go ahead and add an action. We're gonna choose a channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this to myself. And here is where we can customize what that message says. So right now it's saying new submission for and then form title, which is schedule a meeting. That's not really gonna give me very much information. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of both of those and we can pull from our form. So I'm going to say whoever it is and then we can put that form title right here. And then we can also go ahead and put the appointment so that way we have all that information in the message title. And then if we want to add more to the message, we can do that here. If we can put their email here and we can also add an action button. So yes, I definitely want to view that submission. And if it's been edited, I do want to get a new message. Let's go ahead and save. Perfect. So let's go ahead and give this a test. We'll do publish and open in a new tab. And we'll get this filled out and we'll choose our time 2 p.m. and we'll submit. Now, since I'm already in Jotform, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to where we were, and I'm gonna jump over into our inbox. As the approver, I'm also going to receive an email to let me know that I need to come to my inbox to approve or deny the submission. So here we see John Smith is in progress. I'm gonna go ahead and approve this. Now, because it's been approved, we're going to see that there's going to be an integration that is running, which is going to be sending it over to Slack. Perfect. So I can see that it sent me a chat message and I can see it within Slack. Let's go ahead and click here to look at that message. And here you go, we see John Smith scheduled a meeting on Tuesday the 29th from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And we also have his email and we can come here and view his submission. 
perfect brings us right back to our inbox and it really is as simple as that if you have any questions about to integrate slack with your job form workflows let us know down below in the comments if you like this video and you got some value hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video i'll see you next time